Okay, so this screencast is going to show you how to create your revalidation portfolio and how to submit it to the assessors. So first off, um, we're going to create that revalidation portfolio. And to do that, we go to SILIP portfolio. And uh, this will just take us through to the system. Okay, so we're through into SILIP portfolio. Um, now, we've already set up our CPD um, uh, previously, uh, but we'll just check that it's still there. So if we click on um, our content and CPD, we can uh, click on our CPD and there we can see um, there's 20 hours worth of CPD that um, has already been completed. Now that is a minimum so uh, obviously you can submit more and we encourage people to submit more but um, effectively once you've got your 20 hours then you are able to submit for revalidation. So what we need to do now is create our, the, the page that we're going to submit uh, for our revalidation portfolio. So if we go back to dashboard um, and we're looking at uh, the organized section and here you can see there's a live link for pages here. So if we click on um, our pages, now you can see already that this uh, revalidation candidate has already submitted a 2012 revalidation, um, but they are going to, we're going to create our 2013 uh, revalidation. So to do that we uh, are going to click on create a page and in here we're going to, and it's already there, um, click on revalidation 2013. Now uh, you can write a description if you want. Um, uh, I'll type in uh, my revalidation And uh, we might want to put um, some tags so it's easy to find in future. Uh, click on save. And now we're into the page where we can actually edit, um, edit that page ready to go. And you'll see here there's various um, sort of formats of things that you might want to add into your page. Um, files, images and videos um, and folders kind of give you the opportunity to upload files should you wish. Um, journals, if you use the journal function of CPD you could add, um, add a journal in. Um, you might for example want to upload your CV or any information for your profile but the things that we want uh, actually sit within this general tab and uh, the, the two key ones that we're looking for here are the CPD list and our notes field. So first off we're going to add in our CPD and you do this just by clicking on it and dragging it into the area. Now it's going to uh, ask me which um, CPD log that we want and it's our 2013 CPD that we want so I'm going to click on that and click on save. And that's automatically pulled through that list of CPD from your CPD log. The other um, uh, bit that we want is then uh, um, some space for an evaluative statement. Now, um, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to uh, pull in um, a, a notes page, but you might want to upload a Word document, um, which you could do via sort of... Um, by the, the, the files and images um, upload um, page. But uh, I'm going to drag in the, the notes here and I'm going to put in my evaluative oh, statement. Now, uh, for the purposes of this, I'm actually uh, going to pull up a, a Word document um, I've already created. Um, as you'll see, it is. Uh, completely, um, where am I, oh, there we go, already one I've done earlier um, and uh, has lots of Latin text so it's not actually real, um, but obviously you could just upload um, there and if you wanted you could um, make things bold um, or um, un 
underline things, it's absolutely up to you. I'm just going to click on save here. And uh, you can now see that uh, we've got the evaluative statement and the, the, the 2013 CPD. Now, it's looking very sort of blocky here. So um, one way that you can play around with the format is by clicking on Edit Layout. Um, now, I quite like uh, the ability to um, have... Uh, just be able to see it straight off but you might want to sort of change it you know there's there's various options of changing it every way you want so i'm just going to have a, a, a very simple page here um and that's going to demonstrate my cpd at the top um or and my evaluative statement similarly if i wanted it the other way around i could just click and drag around the page and that would be the same if it was in um different um different blocks as well the one thing I should say uh, about this is obviously we're showing you here how to upload using um, your your CPD log on the, the, the VLE and creating an evaluative statement. Um, but we have been clear that you can um, submit your um, revalidation, your evidence in different ways. So, for example, if through your annual appraisal scheme or your professional development reviews with your line manager, you have a a, a way of creating a, an evaluative statement and that also identifies your your 20 or, or more hours um, you're more than welcome to submit that um, using the the file upload page um, as long as the assessors are going to be able to see that you've done your 20 hours and have got an evaluative statement there then, then that's absolutely fine so um, I've now got um, my 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 page. Um, I'm happy with that. Um, and I'm just going to click on done there. So I've now got my uh, revalidation 2013 there. Um, and uh, the, the final thing that I need to do is just make sure that, that is available for the professional registration assessors and I need to share it with them. So um, to do that, uh, we move to uh, shared by me and click on here and here's our revalidation page um, and I just need to edit the access so click on that little um, tab there and uh, we're going to share with other users and groups uh, in the search field we're looking for groups and if you just type in um, professional registration assessors oh, and go uh, and then click on add uh, I don't need to, um, to to give them specific um, limited access to it so I'm not going to um, submit kind of particular dates but this this stage is very important to ensure that uh, the professional registration assessor will be able to see your portfolio when once it's been submitted. So we're just going to click on save. And um, uh, at this point, um, you could either click directly here, um, but just so we're clear, I'm just going to go back to the dashboard. And um, I'm going to go back to the virtual learning environment um, so that we can uh, submit that portfolio. So we're back on the VLE and uh, here's my revalidation. So I'm going to click into here uh, and click on submitting your revalidation. And this is where I'm going to click on uh, my revalidation submission. Now, what it will uh, automatically do is uh, pull up any pages that exist within your, um, your portfolio um, that you have that you might want to submit. This looks um, slightly different um, to uh, what you, you'll see if you're doing this for the first time um, because it, uh, this uh, revalidation candidate has already submitted 
their 2012 revalidation. So you can see that you can come in, uh, you submit it for the first time and it will send it um, and be assessed. Um, and in fact, uh, you can see uh, the, the 2012 was actually already uh, signed off um, uh, in fact today. Um, and uh, uh, having done that, I'm now able to come back in again in um, and submit. Uh, so in theory, a year later, um, I can submit my new revalidation. And all I have to do and all you have to do uh, to submit it to the assessors is find the one that you want, which is our revalidation 2013 and click on submit. Um, that will just take a, a, a moment to upload. And you can see that this has now come up. Uh, it's given us the date uh, and uh, it's said that the changes have been saved and effectively that uh, is your submission uh, sent off to the assessors. And that's all you have to do.